In 2015 an Australian mother gave birth to triplets 12 weeks early. This couple couldn't wait to have one more baby, which they hoped would be a girl, to complete their family of five. But when mom's belly wouldn't stop growing, their lives changed completely. This young family of five were living the dream. Yes, residing in Perth, Australia, parents Chloe and Rohan Dunstan, and their three energetic boys, Evan, Otto and Felix, were happy with their large family. But they believed that a little girl would be the perfect addition to the clan. So where did it all begin? Well, Chloe first became a mother at the age of 19 when she gave birth to Evan, who is now 5. Then 11 months later, a 20-year-old Chloe delivered Evan a brother in the shape of Otto, who's also currently 5. And shortly afterwards, the now 3-year-old Felix joined the party, but the Dunstans weren't finished there. Indeed, the couple tried for a fourth baby and Chloe soon fell pregnant. However, this pregnancy was completely different from her previous ones. You see, her first three pregnancies had all been fairly easy, with Chloe having only experienced a little tiredness from time to time. But even from the start of this pregnancy, everything appeared to have intensified when compared to her previous experiences. She complained of feeling nauseous, for one thing, and she was also constantly exhausted and invariably hungry. But perhaps oddest of all was that Chloe's belly just wouldn't stop growing. To begin with, then, Chloe was convinced that she was going to have a daughter. She even wrote on Facebook, they say you get sicker when you're carrying a girl. However, the size of her tummy led her to wonder whether she might be expecting twins. Whatever it was though, her bump just kept on expanding. So, to put their minds at rest, Chloe and her husband decided to have an early scan. At this stage, Rohan was certain that they were only having one baby, but the couple made contingency plans just in case. They even joked that if it turned out they were expecting twins, they would head straight to the shops to buy some matching outfits. However, neither of them could have anticipated what would happen next. In a Facebook post about the experience, Chloe recalls being off with the fairies as the ultrasound technician started the scan. After a short while though, the technician asked the young mom to go and empty her bladder so they could carry out an internal scan. Still, the young couple couldn't have prepared for what the technician was about to show them. First of all, the technician pointed to the couple's baby on the screen. Then, before they had a chance to digest what they were seeing, the technician moved the scanner. Suddenly, a second shape appeared before their eyes. And although Chloe had thought that there was a chance she could be carrying twins, it was still a shock to them both. However, the technician wasn't finished there. After waiting for the pair to calm down, the technician dealt Chloe and Rohan another surprise. Yes, in between the two babies was a third. Stunned, Chloe began to cry freely. She later claimed on Facebook that she didn't stop shaking for the rest of the day. Unfortunately though, the technician had some bad news for the Dunstans. The technician explained that she was concerned about baby number three. After all, it was considerably smaller than the other two and might therefore face a battle to survive. Regardless, she told the young family to return for another scan in a few weeks. Hopefully, by then, all three babies would be healthy and growing at the same rate. Chloe later recalled that she initially thought it might be best if the third baby didn't survive. But now she has said she hates herself for even considering such a thought. However, at the time, the idea of doubling the number of children they already had when she was just 22 years old petrified her. Especially as this pregnancy was so high risk. Following the ultrasound, then, Chloe and Rohan headed straight to the shops, as planned, and bought three matching outfits. However, neither of them said anything to one another. After receiving such unexpected news, they were completely overwhelmed at the prospect of bringing up six kids. Eventually though, the couple came round to the idea of having three more children, and the thought of building their family became a blessing. But they were about to be dealt a devastating blow. Unfortunately, it became apparent that the smallest baby was being starved of oxygen and nutrients. It wasn't growing as it should, there was a real chance that it wouldn't survive. Ultimately, doctors informed Chloe that she had two options. She could either terminate the weaker baby, thereby giving the other two a stronger chance of survival. 
or she could take the risk and continue with the pregnancy to offer all three a shot at life. Choose the latter, however, and she would have to deliver the babies prematurely at 28 weeks. The couple were faced with a difficult decision. And although the pair seriously considered letting the weaker baby go, they ultimately decided against it. However, Chloe felt guilty for putting the other two babies at risk, especially when they were growing so healthily in the womb. In spite of this, the decision was made. And even though Chloe's pregnancy was not an easy one, she determined to enjoy it. Then, on July 3, 2015, Chloe delivered the triplets 12 weeks early. Furthermore, with two boys and one girl being born, Chloe finally got her wish for a fellow female to join the family. However, the newborns were not out of the woods yet. All three triplets were born dangerously underweight. Henry was the heaviest at a little over 3 pounds, Rufus was next at 2 pounds 10 ounces, and Pearl tipped the scales at just 1 pound 8 ounces. Out of the three, the little girl was in the worst shape. So as a result, all three babies had to undergo emergency blood transfusions and were put on ventilators. Poor Pearl was born very weak though. She had a heart defect and problems with her liver, and the little mite also suffered a pulmonary hemorrhage and a minor bleed on the brain. Regardless, she survived, and so did her brothers. Indeed, after nine weeks in hospital, the two little boys, Henry and Rufus, were strong and healthy enough to go home. And two weeks later, their little sister was able to join them. Now the triplets had a new adventure to tackle, three older brothers. Today, the two-year-old triplets are thriving, and the family has set about sharing their story with the world. To this end, the Dunstons have launched multiple social media accounts, including a YouTube channel, to document their day-to-day -day existence. One day, then, Pearl and her siblings will be able to look back and wonder on their eventful starts to life.